Hi everyone, welcome back to Love Long Tarot. Today's video is all about what was their first impression of you. So without a further ado, I want us to get started. So I have three three oh three pals for you guys. So group number one, you guys can pick the angel oracle card. Group number two, the green pot green deck. And pal num group number three, the blue deck. So I'm going to give you guys a moment to breathe in and out and pick whatever deck is calling you. Okay, perfecto. Group number one. So to those of you who picked group number one, the angel oracle card, let's see what, um, what the person, their first impression of you was. Very, very exciting. So, okay, I can't shuffle. Oh my god, I cannot shuffle. I cannot shuffle. Okay. Okay, that's just page of cups. Page of cups. Okay, these just popped up. Okay, the moon. The hair fan. Oh, very nice. Uh, justice okay really okay really nice okay page of cups okay so first thing first i am going to start with this first card which is the justice uh, sorry justice card so i feel like this person their first impression of you was like a bit intimidating like i think you come off as someone who who's very like mysterious with the moon energy um, i feel like you're very you're very attractive uh, maybe you you know it, but I feel like you guys are very like humble about it. So I feel like you guys are um you know you got it. Like you know you have a, you not only you have good looks, but you have a good heart as well. And I feel like you guys a lot of you guys know this already, but you guys don't like you guys don't go around per, like thinking you guys are like the hot the hot stuff. So I feel like they find you very like mysterious, very humble. I feel like very sexy as well. Like and if you look at all of this card, they all have like this mature vibe. So I feel like they get like you like you like ooze out of like maturity. Like you look like someone who's very mature, very sexy. Like I don't know. I feel like like someone like um you know who I find really sexy like Angelina Jolie. She's very like elegant, very like put together. But I feel like I find her mysterious. So that kind of like vibe is what I'm getting and how they feel about you. I uh, with the justice card. I feel like their first impression of you was you're not you don't um I feel like you don't participate or you entertain any drama. So if someone's trying to like bathe you in like or give you like hot pot of tea, you're more of like okay, like cool. Like, can we talk about something else now? More interesting. So I feel like you don't, um, you're not into like small talks, but you like to really get deep and, and yeah, I just feel like you just like to get deep and you're all about, you don't like, I feel like their first impression of you is you're not judgmental. So you're fair. You treat everyone else the way you want to be treated and you don't discriminate. So whether you don't discriminate from the way they look, they dress, like they how much money they have, you're very you're just a very like person that has good morals, I think. I think that was their first impression of you. With the Justice card and with the moon, so I think they find them very like alluring, uh mysterious. I feel like Maybe maybe a lot of you guys who picked this pile, you guys have like long, just very long silky hair, but I some of you cannot like this is a general reading, so I'm just um saying out whatever is telling me, but yeah, I feel like a lot of you guys have are very like this like long slim body or just tall kind of figures. I think that they find you very mysterious, very pretty, like perhaps. I'm not sure if a lot of you guys do come from a wealthy family or a wealthy background. I feel like, or if not, um, if not, I feel like you guys give off this, like, wealthy vibe. Like, you guys look like a very, like, ex not, ex like, very, like, like a girl from a rich family. Like, young, rich family. Like, for example, like, Blackpink Jenny. 
um if you guys don't know her you can like google her maybe but i feel like that's kind of the impression that you gave this person um yeah so i like a bit of intimidation and you they view you as someone who is i think a lot of people respect you i think they saw that if you look there's two like servants like bowing down but you're not you're not like a bossy like bossy like biatch but you are yeah i think you're just very also like well educated you are um what is it clear-minded you have good control of your emotions so you don't ever let you like you don't ever get like snappy moody or what is it like you are just usually like calm demeanor like <clears throat> just calm and polite and very intelligent wisdom and fair and yeah all that good stuff i think that's how they feel about you and i feel like um i feel like people around you are very respected to you and a lot of people do feel this way about you when they first see you very like very rich girl vibe and with page of cups i think this person was very very curious about you because if you see this person He's like the cup and there's like fish water like water in the shape of fish like popping up. So I feel like you I think their first impression of you was very pleasant, very curious. They want to get to know you more. They want to know what you're like what this energy is all about and why people like respect you so much. I mean I think they already have an idea of why, but they just want to get to know you even more. So yeah, I think um page of cups what else what else i feel like um but i feel like they're more like satisfied from kind of watching you from afar or getting to know you from afar so i think whoever you inquired about for this reading i think this person could be like somewhat shy but i'm gonna take this animal oracle card and see what else they felt about you when they first saw you so let's see what else they felt oh they oh perfect two cards just popped up oh my god mouse spirit and nightingale spirit okay so nightingale look at this she has a crown so um like so i feel like they you look like someone from like royal family like royalty like you're very like you look very well like put together i feel like you guys put um you guys are like effortlessly pretty like they find you very like class classy like sophisticated and effortlessly pretty like you don't have to like you look pretty in like literally sweats and t-shirt as well you just look like someone that's from a royal family like very elegant you know and love is all around so i feel like they're definitely like um romantically interested in you with the love card um i feel like i feel like they just want to like listen to your song your music they want to know what kind of color you are like what you're all about in and what kind of tune you sing like what kind of person you really are but i feel like i don't know i'm getting like maybe a lot maybe some of you guys can be small like 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 petite like shorter but you guys have a lot of energy not like not like a lot of energy like crazy energy but it's more of like you guys have a lot to show to the world kind of thing i don't know if that makes sense hopefully it makes sense but with the mouse spirit um tend to the small things so i feel like you guys are um very like caring you guys you guys like um you guys are dope like those type of people who if you notice like someone in the group they're like talking they're or they're trying to talk but everyone else is like talking over them or not really paying attention to them you like look at that person and you like nod or you smile or you acknowledge that they're their value you like acknowledge their presence so i feel like you are very like good at tendering tendering is it tending tending to others caring for others like with those small details you know when someone's uncomfortable you know when someone doesn't feel good you i think you're very like quick on your feet about it so i feel like you guys they find you their first impression of you was you're a very caring person and you also look very like 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 a royalty so that's that's amazing guys i'm happy for you guys i don't know if this person you inquired about is someone you're interested but i would love to know in the comments yeah so mouse spirit uh what card what else card did i want to pull um uh, let's see okay maybe i'm just gonna pull 
I'm just gonna pull the garden card as well to see what see what else they thought of you. So desire. Oh la la. Okay, very nice. And then let's see what else. Let's see what else. Love. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay, you're number one. Oh, I'm excited for you guys. So hopefully this person that you're asking me about or asking this video is about is someone you're interested in because the feelings are very, very mutual. So I feel like when they first saw you, they really want to get to know you and their attraction towards you is very all time high. I think it was like they were kind of wowed by your beauty and how you carry yourself and your whole like aura. And you know, aura isn't something you can change because most often times like people don't realize what kind of aura they're giving away it could be plain it could be like something mysterious so i feel like they really really want to get to know you more they desire you so i think they want to get to know you better they maybe want to take you on a date soon but i feel like i feel like they love your your whole aura the way you carry yourself the way you look the way you are so yeah i feel like this person their impression of you is like amazing. I feel like this is probably, I, I wonder if this is gonna be the pe best pile out of all the other t um, other three piles that's going to be. But I feel like they their first impression after they met you, they really want to be, get to know you better, maybe potentially become like boyfriend and girlfriends or girlfriend and girlfriend, boyfriend and boyfriend, like whatever, whatever you guys do. like. I'm totally cool with that, like, love is love, but yeah, love card, I think they really would love to get to know you, love to, love to unreveal your mysterious side, for sure, okay, I'm really happy that you guys got a good reading, so I'm gonna pull some charm for you guys before we go, so let's see, okay, so butterfly, okay, butterfly I, I like to associate butterfly with like elegance they're very elegant you know when they fly they don't make any noise they're very gentle elegant creatures so that kind of goes with what i said about um g you giving off like royalty vibes um oh, black swan oh my goodness uh i feel like there's a movie about black swan but you know black swan they're very black swan they're very mysterious very sexy very very like mysterious so lots of mysterious vibe and look at this another black heart and black heart so double heart so they really want to get to know your mysterious sides and maybe i think they want like more than friendship or like something really deep like they want like a deeper connection they want to really get to know you what you're all about like what kind of traumas you guys went through or what kind of hardships or what what makes you happy they just really want to get to know you and oh is this a seashell okay seashell seashells i don't know what what do you guys think of when it comes to seashell because for me seashell is joy it's something fun like i love going seashell hunting as a kid um and finding like the prettiest seashells so i feel like you, they find you like the out of all the f um what is it seashells in the beach they find you the prettiest but i feel like when you met this person out of everyone that they saw you stood out to them the most and high likely maybe you guys met them during night or maybe you guys will meet them again at night but like look at this like black 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 so <laughs> very like very heavy on a sexy mysterious vibe and with the tail i feel like this is also a mystery because i don't know i like i kind of associate whales with mystery like especially whale whale tails and the sea like there's so much more to for us to like find out about the sea because i think we only explore like what like less than five five like five ten percent i'm not sure but i know there's a lot more to the ocean than we think so i feel like that kind of correlates to how they feel about you so yeah <clears throat> excuse me so i hope you guys enjoyed this reading let me know uh, which pile you guys picked in or what you thought of this video i would love to know and yeah please consider liking and subscribing if you guys did enjoy my video if not then it's all good no need to subscribe <laughs> but yeah hope to see you guys again soon and i hope you guys have a great day or night bye, -bye. okay pile number two to those of you who picked 
this green deck group number two let us get started on what you are all about okay, so group number one they they got like a really good reading so i hope you guys also get a good reading too okay i'm just gonna put this here group number two let's see what you're all about i would love to know the tower oh okay group number two group number two group number two the emperor group number two group number two group number two oops okay asos okay oh oh okay i like it oh this reading is very very interesting thus far it's of swords okay so there i think their first impression of you is i feel like they either okay they either met you when you were going through like a dramatic life change or you met them when they were going through a dramatic life change but i feel like it's more towards you like you met this person when you were going through this tower moment so something very dramatic whether it's your career change or like loss of a relationship friendship something really big and like kind of like not really traumatic but something big and not maybe not the greatest time for you or just a big change so i feel like this person their first impression of you is despite you going through all this hurdle this hardship you are very like you're a very like you're a very well grounded person like strong like emperor when i think of emperor they're they don't ever lose their cool they're very um what is it they're very like they have wisdom they have knowledge they are leaders so i feel like you guys are leaders you guys are strong like i feel like a lot of you guys are strong independent people you guys don't let anything get to you so easily I feel like you guys don't get shaken up and maybe on the inside you guys are like oh, oh like freaking out but at least on the surface you keep your cool you don't ever um this person feels like you don't let other people know what you're really going through so you know how to i think you know how to um you're really in tune with your emotional side so you know when to when to draw back and when to stand out kind of thing and I feel like with the Emperor card, I feel like maybe they find you a bit more on the masculine energy. So this doesn't mean like you guys are like bro dudes or like very like, ugh, like alpha. Uh, sorry, it's sorry, I don't think alpha is the correct word. But not like dominant, like dominant. They don't find you dominant, but it's more of like you guys are leaders. You guys like to lead. So if you see something, you like to ask them out. You don't wait. You go get it. Yeah. Yeah, you go get what you want. You're not passive at all. That's what... I think that's what they're attracted to you. With a real fortune, I feel like their impression of you is... I feel like they when they saw you, it kind of felt like a fate to them. It kind of felt like... Oh, this feels like... I don't know, this kind of feels like, like a soulmate or kind of like movie kind of connection. So yeah, I really wonder like what kind of setting you guys met this person. But I feel like it's kind of interesting. Uh, not really interesting because if you guys went through like a bad situation but kind of interesting that this card is showing up in this reading but anywho yeah so i feel like they kind of feel like this this is kind of like meant to be like when i see this person so i feel like that's their first impression of you and you know what i feel like with the lovers card i feel like you are their ideal type like someone that they've been really wanting or like trying to manifest for such a long time uh, i don't really know if you guys are really like mm, i feel like you guys aren't really into this person yet or maybe you guys are just curious but yeah with the lovers card i feel like this person feels like this is like a match and match made in heaven like you guys they really want you and they want to be with you and i feel like they of course like they find you attractive uh with the emperor card um i feel like they find you very like very like um you have like a very handsome future very like it could have, which actress comes to my mind um 
handsome yeah but like not not like handsome but very like top beauty like they find your top beauty like really really beautiful and with the ace of swords i feel like you're very like very king energy so a lot strong on the masculine energy but they find you very logical i feel like you guys don't get shaken up like no way and you guys you guys seem very like educated maybe they could bit have been like a bit intimidated by you because i feel like you guys are hard to impress they feel like you're hard to impress because you seem like you and i feel like you guys do have high standards anyways but you guys are yeah i feel like you guys are but you know what i feel like you guys are also very flexible you guys know when to step down from the masculine energy and tune um in a swap with your feminine energy so you know depending on the person you're dealing with like for example in terms of conflict if someone has more masculine energy you need to like be a bit more passive because if you draw out your masculine energy like there's two strong personalities fighting so it never matches but if you pull out your feminine energy against the masculine energy then they are going to back down kind of thing so i don't i hope that made sense i feel like you're very like calculative i think they feel like you're very calculative you um maybe you don't kind of like quiet i feel like they, you guys didn't like talk too much when you were around this person or you guys don't talk much in general very quiet you guys are like what is it observant that's and i feel like you guys have good um sense good judgment of characters you guys are able to see like who are snakes and who are like nice people so yeah i think that is it and with the lover cards did i yeah i already went through they f are very very attracted to you and i feel like they uh you're someone um unique they've it's kind of really hard to pass by someone like you i think that's how they feel someone who is very like this ember energy yeah i feel like it's hard you're kind of like once in a lifetime kind of person like it's hard to meet someone as as like as very like attractive as you i think they're very very attracted ah okay so i think that's it for detail i'm going to pull out the animal animal oracle cards to see what else comes up for you guys so what was group number two's what was their first impression of group number two what was their first impression of group number two white raven spirit okay Oh my goodness, koalas! Okay, I love koalas, guys. I would love to be your friend. Because I feel like you guys have this very, like, mellow energy. You guys are very, like, um, not really carefree, but you're very optimistic. Like, I don't think you guys are pessimistic at all. I feel like this person was really impressed by your optimistic attitude despite your tower, like, your drastic change moments. So I feel like with the koala spirit... You guys, you guys are like, you guys don't really stress out yourself too much because I feel like you guys know you got it and you're like, you guys are like, what is it? You're like, you know what? Like, if this doesn't work out, then it's not meant to be. I'm going to move on to the next. I'm capable. I'm worth it. Like, I think they their um impression of you was also like you guys know your worth you guys know your values you guys know your worth like you don't settle any less than that so very you guys have very strong like self-love and with the white raven spirit it's like what i said um because i've never seen a white raven and i know seeing a white raven is very very rare so i feel like they're um they view you as someone that's like literally once in a lifetime hard to find someone like you someone with your beauty someone with your characteristics like personal values so yeah i feel like you guys are very unique um very but at the same time you guys are not like um anal like you guys are not like control freaks like uh this has to go the way i want it to and you guys freak out you're like okay if this doesn't work out fine there's other opportunities for me even better good let's move on so i feel like that's their impression of you so you guys are very very cool cool um girls or guys like you guys are a very cool person like cool personality cool aura i love i love this okay i will yeah i would love to be your friend and 
you know, yeah, get to know you guys. But what else? Was there any different card? Okay, the, I'm gonna pull up some few cards from this Green Witch Oracle card. So let's see. Let's see. Agreement. Okay. Okay. Agreement. And tranquility. Tranquility. Okay. I feel like this. These two goes with what I was saying earlier. But agreement. So I feel like you guys are not like um not like brats or like hard to. You guys are not picky. Um, you're not like hard to please. You're agreeable. Like you barely, rarely like to have conflict with others. You're very like, um. So, for example, if someone, if this person is like, oh, hey, do you want to go for a drink? You're like, yes. You don't complain. You're like, if you're at the restaurant and the service is taking too long, you're not like, oh, like this sucks. Like, or you don't, you don't complain. You, you're very empathetic. You understand. And I feel like with the agreement card, you, you keep your promises. You keep your words. You are true to your words. And every word that you, that comes out of your mouth, it's very heavy like you don't just throw out like spew out any like words like so or like insults you know you mean every word that you say and you're agreeable you are not hard to please you're not difficult person if someone upsets you and they apologize you're like okay thank you you're not like okay but like this is why like blah 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 like you don't you don't like fight you know and this is, doesn't mean like you guys seem like like pushover but it's more so you know when's you know, like, you have very such wisdom and knowledge and life experience that you know when to step down and when to speak up. So that's what they feel like, that you're agreeable. And with the tranquility card, I feel like this is very, like, very, like, I feel like this, too, very goes along together. But very, like, tranquility, like, you're, what is it, like, calm, calm, like, you have your stuff together you're very logical yet emotional so yeah i feel like that's what their impression of you was i would love to know if you guys are like this or if this is just all in their head <laughs> would love to know so please comment and let me know but i am going to go ahead and pull up some few charms for you guys okay so okay um Okay, acorn. So I feel like you are someone, they find you very, like, full of surprises. Like, I feel like every time um, when they met you, you were full of surprises. Like, oh, they're like, oh, this person didn't seem like this, but that's very interesting. And I feel like, oh my god, strawberries! Strawberries and strawberries! Okay, so I feel like they really think that you're agreeable. You're easy to get along with, um... You're not like hard to please. You're not anal at all. And with the sleeves. So I feel like you don't wear your um, heart on your sleeves kind of thing. I know it's like in the stomach area. But I feel like you don't. They feel like you don't wear your heart on your sleeve at all. Which. And then I feel like they really want to get to know you more. They want to like unlock what kind of surprises you guys have up in your sleeve. And is this an acorn or. I don't know what this is. I don't know. I don't know. Do you guys know what this is? I don't know. I don't know what this is. But yeah, let me know in the comments if you guys know what this is. But with the black one, um, playful. I think they want to get to know you. I think they want to see your playful side this time. Not, um, and I feel like you do have... Like you definitely do have the playful side, but they just want to know you. And with the this card, tranquility, I feel like you guys are very like, very like man, like peaceful. Like I don't like no drama and like none of that. You guys know like, want to stick out and stick in. And with okay, you guys have black stars, so very unique. Um, this with uh more like emperor energy, like with the moon and emperor. Like you seem like. Yeah, I feel like they also see you as someone, like, with ambition, like, and with Leaf, like, I think they're really excited to, or hoping to start a new chapter with you, so whether that's, like, becoming friends with you, or getting to know you in a romantical way, like, whatever, and Eiffel Tower, yeah, Eiffel Tower, 
or any towers i wonder if you guys met this person in like paris or i don't know anywhere with like tower like eiffel tower May you know what maybe you guys are like city girls like kind of vibe you know and shooting stars so i feel like oh is this a magic one yes yeah, so i feel like you're very mysterious like they want to get to know you more with this magic one i feel like you are someone you have like lots of like uh, um characteristics that a lot of people would want to have or and with these half a cup so i feel like they don't really know you well yet so they only feel like they only saw like half of your side and they would love to get to know you more so yeah i think that's it for pile number two i hope you guys enjoyed this reading please um consider liking subscribing if you liked the video if you guys didn't then that's okay too hopefully you guys like ne my next videos but yeah okay i'm not gonna put this back there but anywho thank you guys for tuning in and i hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you are okay hope to see you guys again Bye bye okay my last pile pile number three okay let's see what what their first impression of you was so far group one and group two i think they got um good readings i think group one was the best so far but yeah let's see what their first impression of you was group number three group number Oh, nice. Queen, Queen of Swords. Oh, the Chariot. Okay, I like that. Okay. Okay, the Hermit. Okay. Okay, three of swords. Hmm, interesting, okay. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm gonna pull one more card. Okay, nine of swords. Okay, a lot of swords energy. Okay, so I feel like... Where should I begin? Okay, I'm gonna pull the animal oracle cards now just so I can get a better idea on what their what their thought of you was. But... Time okay, porcupine. Okay, okay, I'm I'm getting it. Porcupine. And... Okay though. Wolf spirit, okay. Okay, so I feel like the, the first impression of you is that you you look like someone who have um, their... I feel like you guys have your stuff together. You guys are well put together. And you. I feel like you guys are very confident and they find you very successful. So I feel like you guys already have a good career. Like a career. Like you guys already have big girl, big boy jobs. Or it could be that you guys are like still in school and you guys are on your way or you guys just seem like you have like you're very like you have your stuff together like you guys are like maybe living alone or paying rent like having your own car like very independent and i feel like they see you as someone very mature yet so much like you guys are very confident as well and they can see that and i feel like um they kind of seem like you're a bit like not not really scary but intimidating like they want to get to know you more but they're kind of intimidated by you because you kind of seem you kind of come off like a bit sharp not sharp but very uh, maybe cold uh, is it cold no it's more of like they kind of view you as someone that's sharp like like ice princess like ice queen kind of vibe <laughs> especially with the porcupine spirit because porcupines um what is it you know what they i feel like they find kind of see you as someone who have their guards up like you don't really trust people easily because porcupine they're very um they have their guards up with their little 
little spikes but when they're not guarded their spikes are down and you can actually pet them so i feel like that's how they view you they kind of view you like someone like porcupine who kind of seems intimidating but i feel like you guys are very like generous you guys love to give to others like especially people close to you so i feel like you guys don't really care too much for people that's not in your circle group or your loved ones so you don't really care what people think or how like obviously you're not going to treat them like crap but you're not you don't go like as far as to like being like you don't bend your back over for someone like strangers only your close ones so i feel like you guys have your priorities straight and very like independent you guys have you guys are yeah you guys know you guys seem like you know what you're doing in life which is great and i feel like um i don't know i wonder if a lot of people like gossip about you not pro not because you are um a bad person but i feel like a lot of people not a lot but i feel like this person may have heard not the greatest thing about you from others maybe but they actually found out that you're someone who's actually very sweet on the inside yeah so i'm getting a big message on they kind of didn't really hear good things about you or people oftentimes assume you're kind of like mean or not not like the nicest kind of like ice cream but on the inside you're very very nice so people i think a lot of people like mistaking you as someone you're not but with the hermit card i feel like you guys are you know you guys are hermits like you guys you guys are very like i feel like they kind of view you as someone like introverts are you guys introverted or homebodies you guys like to stay home and like chill at home and just yeah i feel like you guys find like social social settings maybe tiring so i feel like you guys are more on the introverted side but at the same time i feel like you guys have strong feminine qualities as well because of the queen of swords and with the wolf spirit as well so the hermit with the hermit card i feel like they they want to get to know you more and they kind of want to try bringing you out of the shell and and try to like get to know your sweet side like they want they're kind of like maybe like jealous of your friends or your loved ones for being able to experience the size that you only show them oh yeah i feel like that's their impression of you and with the page nine of swords i feel like i feel like you guys are very charismatic you guys have um you guys i don't know very big on having your stuff together and you guys are very i think they find you very like very like charming like like gorgeous kind of feeling you guys look gorgeous you guys look i don't know like i that's like yeah like ice queens you know how like ice queens they're very beautiful like yeah like um something like elsa you know that's the name that i'm popping the frozen like the elsa you know how she in the first movie she kind of like scared of her power so she just she just like goes into a hiding and just blocks any human contact out in because you're scared to hurt them so i feel like that's kind of how they view you as well which is kind of like elsa very like beautiful very elegant but kind of hard to get to know you with the page knight of swords and queen of swords and with the wolf spirit i feel like you guys are very very like majestic yeah that's the word i was thinking for majestic you guys have this like majestic feeling like i think it's like the way you walk the way you talk the way you look the way you stare at other people very wolf spirit like you're very you guys have this like not like dominating like sexy like cold energy which i really like like i wish i had that kind of aura but yeah with the wolf spirit knowledge into wisdom so i feel like you guys are very like you guys are very um picking on who you show your sweet sides to and i think it's kind it's kind of from that you guys have been hurt a lot from the past maybe like a lot of people hurt you so you're kind of a bit closed off but um i don't think they view you any negatively in fact they do want to get to know you more and they do want to try bringing you out of the shell so with that being said i want to pull the garden green witch oracle card to see what else we can find out about their first impression of you 
Hope. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, that's so cute. Hope. <gasps> Victory. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I feel like this person, they're very hopeful that you are going to show that um that different side that you only show your loved ones to. So they're very hopeful that you guys or he will be a um he or she will be able to approach you and he's very hopeful that you guys will be able to become close friends or like relationship or he's very hopeful to get to know you, get to know the real you. Like he's like fuck what other people think of you, like or what other people say. I want to get to know you for you or yeah so you're very hopeful and they would love to get to know you and with the victory card so i feel like i feel like in the end you are going to end up giving into this person i think this person is also very charming as well but with the victory card i feel like you guys could lead into a very good good friends like he's going to be in your inner circle which is saying a lot because i feel like you guys don't let a lot of people in so easily but yeah, victory, hope, like very hopeful. I think they're hopeful and I feel like they are going to be able to um, get to know you at the end. And I feel like they are going to be very persistent and try really hard to get to know the real you or the side that you only show to certain people. So I'm going to pull out some charms. Okay, so, okay, is this hard? What is this? Heart. Okay, heart. So, you know what? Okay, if you look at this heart, only this edge has, like, the little, like, dots, and only this edge does not. So, I feel like this kind of, like, goes back to that size that I was telling you about, like, that you only show a certain side to your loved ones. So, you have, you kind of have your guard up, kind of. So, I think that's what they mean. And with the love so big on love so i feel like this person is really romantically interested in getting to know you better and is this what is, is this? oh my god this is a pig so oh you know pigs they're very like wisdom and they're actually really smart and i think a lot of have misconception regarding pigs because they people think like pigs are lazy and stupid but in fact pigs are actually the smartest they're actually like considered smarter than dogs. So I think this goes back to what I said about how he didn't, um, or how people view you a certain way, but you're actually not. You're actually a very like sweet, like caring person. So yeah, I think that kind of resonates with what I say. And with the anchor, so I think they really want to get to know you, like really like in soul deeper level. So they're not just like hit it and go kind of guys. They actually genuinely. I'm curious and you guys have the two moons so with the two moons I feel like yeah I feel like in the end you might actually end up opening your heart to this person and you guys actually find that oh this person is actually really compatible like really funny really charming um and oh my god this is snowflake so this is a snowflake so this is kind of like you know Elsa like you know you guys are ice queen like you guys are very cold but very beautiful um, and with the leaf card and the elephant so is this an elephant sorry like is this an elephant guys okay this is an elephant card yeah so i feel like elephant you know they care they take care of their herds and they always move along with their packs so i feel like this is also you like you like you just take care of, you just take care of your loved ones really good and i think that's what they are interested in you and with the leaf i feel like um they want they really want to see the news the other side of you and they want like a new chapter with you and stars so two stars so yeah two stars two moons so i feel like this person you know try giving them a chance because i feel like this person could actually be surprised and be really pleasant to be with and with the whale cards yeah i think whale cards um sorry not whale card the whale charm is also full of surprise and they are very hard to see so when you go whale watching sometimes you don't get to see the whales so yeah kind of goes back to sometimes not everyone gets to see your sweet side not everyone gets to know you it's on and with the magic wand so like kind of like cinderella kind of vibe you know you guys are very like powerful magnetic attraction and with the unicorn i think of this as very like mystical 
mysterious creature, like mystical. Like it's, you guys are very like, like you know unicorns when you see them. It's well, actually not when you see them, but in the books they often get spoke like talked about like how they're so like beautiful and they're so like they're just so stunning that it's hard to keep your eyes off of this person. So I feel like that's how they view you. So yeah, I feel like this is the longest reading I've done in my channel so far. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments what you guys think. And I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Yeah, please consider liking, subscribing if you guys did. But if you guys didn't not like this video, hopefully you like my other videos. Okay, now I'm gonna um, go to bed now. <laughs> I'm tired. But yeah, have a great night uh, wherever you are. And yeah, please come back for more videos. Bye.